Hey everybody, it is Elizabeth on Trans Love, and this week we are talking about our partners' families' reactions when they came out to them as being trans. So I thought, why not have my partner in the video this week? So everybody, Aiden, say hi. Hi. So Aiden's going to tell us a little bit how he came out to his family. Um, coming out has been a long process. Yeah. Um, most of my family has known for say about five to six years um, that I felt like I was trans and I changed my name with all my family about five six years ago Christmas cards and everything have yeah. always been written in Aiden but male pronouns are really new to them so that's pretty much everyone's difficult point right now yeah. is trying to figure that out um, it's not as difficult for some of the family members as it is others I know his grandma um, has switched over to using male pronouns fairly easily and even corrected his mom one time when she heard um, his mom using female pronouns. So that was actually kind of very nice to hear. Which is really funny because my grandma still can't spell my birth name. <laughs> so for her to like get something right is kind of entertaining. Um, she's been really cool about it. Um, she is British and all of, our, all of her family lives in England. She was the only one to come over to the States. And so... They're a lot more free-loving over there, I feel like. Um, when I came out as gay and we announced that we were going to have a commitment ceremony, um, my cousins were like, why aren't you getting married? Why why don't you just go ahead and get married? And they didn't understand that in the States we couldn't. And this was 2009, so like not a lot of gay marriage had been passed at that point. So they've all been really great. Most of that family I only know through the Facebook realm. I haven't seen them since I was like three. Yeah. So things have definitely changed. Um... So that side of the family's been really good. Grandma's family's really good. Um, I remember driving home from work late one night and talking to my grandma just because I like her. And <laughs> I was like, Grandma, I, I'm, I'm trans. And she was like, what? And I'm like, you know, I just, I, I'm a boy. And she was like, oh, don't have those surgeries. And it's all in <laughs> British. I can't do a British accent, but my grandma's very British. She's like, don't have those surgeries. And I was like, no, no, I really need to have those surgeries. And she was like, well... <laughs> I guess that's okay, but just don't be a dick like that Cher's kid. I was like, okay, Grandma, I think he's okay now, but thanks for that. Um, my mom's been really good. She, I mean, everything, every time that I come out, the third time, um, she just kind of goes with it. Because you came out as being... Bi, and then gay, and then kind of queer, too. Okay, I figured it out. I'm trans. Um, we're going to stick with that one this time. So she's been really good. Um, my mom loves to research, so she finds every support group and every book and every anything, and Google scares me because she looks on Google and finds things, um, and I'm going to call her out. She recently ordered a couple of books. <laughs> this is really funny. And uh, she sent me a text message because she had been gone for a while, and she finally got the book. And she was like, I think I got the wrong book. And I was like, why is that? She goes, it says understanding transsexuals. Is that the same thing? <laughs> and I was like... Just read the book. It'll be alright. <laughs> it's 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 gonna be okay. And so she's been really good about it. I know pronouns are difficult and she's yeah. trying really hard, but I mean she's known me for twenty six years without them, so yeah. it's gonna take her a little bit of time. Yeah, she stamped at me the other day. We were on the phone and I no, I used male pronouns and then she's like, Oh, did you hear yourself? You just said female pronouns. That's not right. And I'm like Who's correcting who here, lady? <laughs> so that's kind of funny. But I know I use male pronouns. <laughs> it's actually become kind of a competition, I think, now. Yeah. To everybody see call the, everybody out. Yeah, to see who can be the most correct. <laughs> yeah. So um, we have some family members that are still really adjusting. Yeah. Um, that we won't really call out or anything like that. Um, they're really adjusting. A few of them are not really okay with it at all um, yeah. and have made that point known. Um, for me, it's really hurtful, um, because I've not changed. Like, I've always been the same person, um, I really care about people, I'm very empathetic, and some of these people have had some hard things that I've really forgive them for, or forgave them for, wow. Um, and it really is hurtful that they just can't see past it, and they can't realize that I'm the same person, and the only thing that's changed is pronouns. I mean, they've known Aiden yeah. for I six think, years. I think the thing that has changed the most, and because there is a huge change in you, is your confidence and your level of happiness. Like, you're just an all-around, like, 
happier person. You sound like I was emo before. I was not emo before. <laughs> no, I but I was trapped. It was, it was trapped. It was very hard. So, <coughs> excuse me. And that's it. She's yeah. sick. <laughs> and, and I'm got, okay because like, I'm going to work. Yeah, he's going to work. Um, but you've got like an aunt that is incredibly supportive, and it's interesting. His aunt side of things she's very supportive of Aiden but she's also supportive of family members that might be having a hard time with this yeah so it's actually been really good to hear her point of view on things and to see maybe through the eyes of people that don't really get it not that she doesn't get it but maybe that side of the family I don't know, it's was, coming out kind of wrong <laughs> <laughs> that side of the family um was raised a little bit differently in different times and so things are a lot they see things a lot Differently, I guess. I don't know. Um, maybe not politically correct. Yeah, maybe not politically correct. And so people that are different weren't really well accepted where they live. Um, so for them to be outward and accepting of me, um, they live in a small town in Indiana. So uh, for them to be outwardly accepting of me, that aunt, um, a couple other um, aunts, and then my cousins over on that side have been, for the most part, great. The ones that I keep in contact with. There's a lot of them on that side, so like we don't all keep in contact, but for the most part, all of those cousins that I talk to have been really great about it. Um, they've all been okay. So, for the most part, everyone's all right. Yeah. I think everyone's just dealing with, because the pronouns are really new. That was only, you know, five months ago, yeah. four months take, ago. Give or take, yeah. yeah, somewhere around there. Um, but the name has been there for like six years, so it's hard for me when people are like, well, it's still hard for me. I understand that. I understand you knew me for 20 years, or it's some people that knew me for two weeks and before my name changed, and they still say it's hard for them. Well, it's hard for me to hear you say the other name. It's hard for me to see that you don't want to make any attempt whatsoever, and you think that I'm some other human being and that I'm a bad person because of this. I've not changed. Um, you know, my core personality, my core beliefs, my morals, are everything is still the same, but they just don't see it so that's really frustrating me right now um but we've also had to take that same thought and as much as it frustrates us um that's now their problem it's no longer our problem um so i personally don't get as upset about it anymore um because that's something they have to deal with and i don't so i don't know it kind of sucks but in in like the big picture you've been really lucky with yeah People being so accepting because it could have gone oh, the could have gone horribly complete wrong. other way. You could yeah. have been disowned by your family. Yeah. So no, I'm really lucky. Yeah. Almost everyone's fine. There's just a couple, yeah. and a couple really hurt because I was close to them at one point in time. So yeah. those two. So, but yeah. other than that, we're good. Yeah, everyone reacted right. really well. Um, family's pretty supportive. Mm -hmm. Second family, the family that I nanny for, has been really yeah. great it's they're working on pronouns and everything right now so <laughs> they're pretty entertaining um because the name is new to them too because i there's kids involved and i never really worked on the name with them so yeah we're pretty lucky yeah and we have extended family i mean we kind of chose good friends that are like family to us and some days those are family more than blood and that's fine yeah all right Done. I think we've thoroughly mm. discussed this topic. So thanks for watching, and we will talk to you guys next time. Later. Bye.